line. I'd really like to know. I don't, I don't know how you gauge if, there, if you get a device to time or gauge quickness. But I don't know if there's many players quicker than Jason Castro in the PBA. I'd like to have some sort of testing. Can you invent that for me, Mr. Halili? Let me put my lab coat on. Yes, yes. It bring would go very well I'll with your I'll vest. bring out my beaker. Beaker, yes. <laughs> Bunsen burner? And my Bunsen burner. <laughs> Meantime, oh, catch the uh, FIBA World Championships, August 29th, September 13, and also find out how Team USA will prepare for that tournament. Uh, all on Solar TV and uh, BTV. I love watching international basketball. Basketball has improved so much worldwide. There's just so many countries that really have a passion and a skill both for, for the game. That you see teams like New Zealand competing on an international level. Obviously, Lith Lithuania, a country of less than four million, so it'd be a lot of good basketball to watch there. Reyna Lugnatan is not part of this ball game. There's Simpson. Talking Tech's doing a very good job on the defensive glass. And here's Alapag. Castro inside. You have to explain to me what a guard is doing inside, scoring inside. Well, Jason Castro coming off screen. Jimmy Alapag finding their cuts to the basket. And he's a great finisher for a little guy. Able to just fearlessly finish around a basket. Under a minute to play in the first. Bola na Tenorio, 4-3. Yes, sir! L.A. Tenorio, such a huge factor for this Alaska team. Steps up and drains a three. Now with seven points in this first quarter. Still a two-point lead para sa talking text. Under a minute to play in the first quarter, and Castro will miss. So here's Tenorio. Baguio wants that ball, and he gets it. Baguio on the move. <laughs> Got a little shuffle in there, as I heard a wise man once say, perhaps he was caught dancing to the wrong song. A very wise man. Oh, that, guy. <laughs> that guy must be smart, creative, and all those things. Daniel, drop pass. What? You have to tell, you have to explain to me. What Jason Castro is doing is what a power forward does, or a wingman does. <laughs> well, you notice both of his attempts in the last couple of possessions come off a cut. He cuts well to the basket, obviously on that one right there. Sean Dana just threw a perfect pass. The weak side defense of Alaska not open. And, you know, guards, this should be inspiration for you, Miko. You're not exactly the tallest guy in the world, and you play on the court where you might get some cuts to the basket now. Take it up strong, Miko Halili. I'm still trying to learn what the pivot is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my coach can allow. Three point game para sa talking text. At napabusta ang oras dito sa opening quarter. Tenorio, Baguio, back back down to 10. And De La Cruz will score. Yeah, the third look he's gotten from the outside. Second one he's made. Now time for the last shot for talking text. Two seconds to go, and Radadel de Ocampo Huge. nails a three. Huge bucket. Nice kickback coming from Castro. Oh. Wow. Almost. <laughs> and the end of the first. Oh, man, that would have been a nice answer. Almost. But Radadel de Ocampo gets the last say at the Magna Apat and Talking Text at the end of the first. Here's the battle in the backcourt. Uh, last game didn't look like much of a battle. <laughs> it's a, it was a one-sided battle. A shellacking, a trouncing, <laughs> a thrashing. But you know what, Cyrus and L.A., it's, it's two guys against three, and there's more really on Talking Tech. So they got their hands full with a really deep backcourt lineup in this Talking Tech team. Yeah, Alaska really having issues with turnovers here in the first half. Ito kakasimula lang ng ating second quarter with Talking Text on top, 22-18. And Castro has been invading that shaded lane all game long so far. As, uh, as uh, Radidel will miss, here's Baguio. Baguio's been aching. Aching to score in the open court for the last two games. Yeah, well, has had a good clean look here in transition. And Talking Tech, since that timeout, that 30 in the first quarter, has come out in the 2-3 zone in L.A., is finding the answer. It's his second three that he's hit in that zone. A nice shooting touch for LA tonight. He's in double figures with 10. And he'll call a no. Oh, a blocking foul there against Reyna Lugnatan. Well, I think he was set, but I believe his feet might have been in the no charge zone. Uh -huh. 
So following that, laban kay Reyna Lugnat and here, we'll get to see it again. Where's Reyna? Where are you? He's right there. Oh, he's sliding a little bit to his right. I couldn't tell where his feet were on that. But... <laughs> Kevin say, it's like uh, two feet away from the no charge zone. <laughs> So I guess they got it maybe that he's sliding with his shoulder a little bit there. But the, the foul was called on the pass, so it's going to be a side inbound. So one minute having gone by. In the second period, ball na kay Castro. Nine to shoot para sa Tokyo Dex. They're up by one. Castro, one on one against Tenorio. Castro makes his move. He stops. Swipe by L.A. Good defense right there by, by Tenorio. You know, one of the things I didn't like on that possession for Talking Texas, Jason Castro dribbled the ball about four or five times in place, and everybody stood around before he finally attacked. Quick hands. Good hands right there by L.A. And then a good heads-up play, throwing it off of Castro's leg. And here's De La Cruz. To Baggio. Baggio goes inside. Drop pass Simpson. Shot locked down to six. And the shot clock is winding down. Three to shoot. Two to shoot. And Simpson loses it. That's another Alaska turnover. And it's a three-on-one break. Oh. And Castro will score. Just textbook. Right after the first dribble over half court. Two quick passes and a layup. Talking text. Just excellent transition. Now here's Simpson. He'll force it. He is forcing it. Yeah. And you saw it coming. Well, if you notice, a lot of times when Simpson attacks, he really drops that left shoulder when he's going right and initiates the contact. Right there, Sean Daniels read that and drew the charge. So frequently, particularly when you're playing in a series, Miko, you really get to pick up even more than you did before the real tendencies of the guy. And you start to just anticipate a little bit quicker, half step quicker, leads to plays like that. You know, which is why by the time you reach a, a game five, six, and especially a seven, it's hard to surprise your opponent anymore. <laughs> Yeah, they know what's coming, and it's gonna. You gotta execute and counter, and just play good defense and take care of the basketball. Here's Tenorio. Baggio. Tenorio. You know, Tenorio has been shooting well in this game, but he missed that time. And De La Cruz with an easy twin. Uh, looked like Jared Dillinger was gonna get that rebound, but the second bounce on the rim threw it off. He gave the chance for Tony De La Cruz to get that put back. De La Cruz having a nice game. De La Cruz with six points off the bench. Meantime, drop off Texters go to Daniels. Daniels nice gets move. away. Nice move. You know, I really like the previous possession. They tried to go high low. Joe DeVance knocked the ball away, but they are consciously and now attacking through Sean Daniels. Great possessions here. Ball fake, and Joe jumps a little bit towards the high side, leaving that step through for the finish open for Sean Daniels. I think with Simpson out. Daniels wasn't really able to effectively score against him. Simpson goes out of the game. They see the Vance on. They try to attack right away. Well, in the middle of your screens earlier, that's the supposed replacement. By the Sean Daniels, see Omar Sharif Sneed. Well, you know, no matter what happens here in this game, it's a nice luxury for Talking Tech to have another import, be practicing, see Alaska, get the systems of both teams in case he's going to come in and play. So he's an insurance policy. There you go. Meantime, Baggio. De La Cruz, and here's Ugnatan, Ugnatan, De La Cruz, shot locked down to six, shot locked down to four, and Tenorio will create, and misses it, tap out by Ugnatan, Tony De La Cruz is hurt, he's down, looks like he got hit in his Adam's apple there, probably got an elbow, there's some frequent contact and arms flying down there around the basket when guys are going for rebounds. And Tony's still down. Let's see what happens. There's a miss by LA. There's Tony. There yeah. you go. Boom. That's the old uh, box out to the Adam's apple. He just caught a nice uh, clean elbow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'll be singing video okay tonight. Probably. <laughs> Hopefully nothing serious. All right now. Gus <laughs> Vargas is, has been a very busy man in this game. In the first quarter, Sunny Toss got hurt. And now, here in the second period, Tony De La Cruz is down. He's going to come back to in this game. You know, Tony can't seem to close his mouth. Yeah, yeah, well. see, there's Sonny. He, he got hurt back in the first period, early in the first quarter. His back is still Really hope it's not serious. Uh, 